To celebrate the return of football, TIFO is offering 30-day free trials to The Athletic, the home of the world's best football writing. Mason Greenwood's performances this season have shown the benefits of being two-footed for attacking wide players and strikers. Three of the top seven strikers in the league so far show a good distribution of goals between their left and right foot, with Jamie Vardy arguably the most well-rounded in terms of how he finishes. Greenwood is, by percentage of passes made with either left or right foot, United's second most evenly distributed player of those who've played over 900 minutes. His nine goals this season have actually come largely from his left foot, with seven and only two right-footed goals. But it's his ability to use both feet that makes him hard to defend against and affords him opportunities that more one-footed players don't benefit from. When playing wide, for instance, being able to use both feet is a clear advantage. While some one-footed players like Iron Robin are effectively able to repeat the same trick of cutting inside and shooting because they're so good at it, having two feet of roughly equal strength is preferable, as it means defenders are always guessing. A right-footed attacker on the right wing can be shown outside, where the touchline is effectively another defender, and if the defender can block the cross, the attacker has little else they can try other than attempting to beat the defender with pace. A left-footed attacker on the right will try to cut inside to avoid having to cross with a weaker foot, but in response, a defender can use their body position to usher the player further infield. This opens a broader shooting angle, but also means that the attacker is far more likely to run into traffic or be challenged by a player dropping back to assist the defence. But in isolation, a defender can become unbalanced. By putting more weight on one foot than the other, it creates an opportunity for the right kind of forward to exploit, and two-footed attackers possess the capacity to do exactly that, with the ability to beat a man in either direction. That's why defenders are more likely to try and stay front-on and square against an attacker like Greenwood, who can do either, so they can adjust quickly to a change in direction. But this means that they're also guessing at the attacker's intentions and being more reactive. Centrally, there's a benefit to being two-footed as an attacker too. If a defender is confronting an attacker moving towards them in a central position and the ball is unwinnable, then they'll be looking to affect a block or close down the shooting angle. If a player is naturally right-footed, the defender will more likely angle their left shoulder towards the ball, providing a wider, more solid barrier than angling the right shoulder across, while also keeping the hands in a natural position and out of the way. Or they can stretch their left foot towards the right foot of the attacker. Of course, this is a commitment. With balance disrupted, the defender cannot easily recover should the attacker draw the ball back across to shoot from the other side. Now, both of these defensive approaches commit the defender to a stance or a position from which it's harder to recover. A two-footed attacker, therefore, either requires the defender to not commit, meaning that they're less likely to make a successful block, or, alternatively, punishes him for gambling, shifting the ball down the less protected side. Greenwood's two-footedness also means he doesn't need to dwell on the ball. Comparing him to other top teams' right-sided attackers in the league, excluding those at Wolverhampton Wanderers because their system is so different, a few things stand out. The first is that Greenwood's goals per 90 exceeds the other attackers in his position, but also that he's less of an all-round creator. But what's also interesting is that he manages the second highest number of shots on target per 90 while also taking the fewest touches and making the fewest successful dribbles. And that's not because he's bad at dribbling, his success rate is the highest. Greenwood is the most two-footed of these players by pass percentage off either foot, with Salah next, before Pepe. Now, while it's impossible to say if his two-footedness is the cause, Greenwood is the most efficient of these attackers as a goalscorer, when looked at in terms of touches per 90 and dribbles per 90, and he's also the most two-footed. That dexterity means that he can adapt more quickly to situations, that he doesn't need to take extra touches to get the ball onto a favoured foot, and that he doesn't need to try to beat a man in order to manufacture a shooting opportunity. This is the great advantage of two-footed attackers, and it's one of the reasons why Mason Greenwood has made such an impact this season. With football finally back, Tifo is delighted to be able to offer 30-day free trials to The Athletic. We have journalists dedicated to every Premier League club, bringing you the definitive stories on your team, not just the big teams. And that's not to mention hundreds of journalists dedicated to 10 other sports. So check it out for free by visiting theathletic.com forward slash TIFO football. And thanks for watching today's video.